hardest thing I have to do as mayor of this great city respond to a call of one of our first responders, one of our heroes, been taken from us. Very tough to have to resist these abusers, console their family, their mother. You hear her talk about her babies that was lost. Responding to a fire department call. I spend the last several hours with his colleagues who are part of his family. It's a tough thing to do. But they do it each and every day on behalf of all of the Estonians. I want us to come together and recognize the job, the life threatening conditions that our first responders go to each and every day. Firefighter Garcia left this morning expecting a good day, a hard day, a dangerous day, but he did expect to go home. I've met him recently. Good looking, 42 year old young man with his life in front of him. So we're here today to say what a tragic set of circumstances. I think the firefighters, his brothers and sisters, they got him to the hospital. His family's with us. We're providing all the services that we can, consoling them, but also in our prayers, keep in mind, rank and file. They just absolutely need every bit of support that we can give them. They need our love at this time. They need their benefits. We need, we need to let people know in good times how valuable what we think of. Not only our firefighters, our EMS, our police officers. I was in the dead of sleep, like most Houstonians, knowing that I was secure because of the Houston Fire Department. And I get a call, a tragic call, that at a scene fighting for our safety, an officer was struck by a wall, taken to the hospital, and we find out he didn't recover. Thank you, Chief Menio. Thank your command staff, the rank and file. They need our prayers, they need our psychological counseling and support services. The city will do everything possible to support the department during these most stressful sad times. We, we, we lost such a fine firefighter, Dorsey. We're not going to forget him. We have to remember the people that took him out of that sleep. They're going to very psychological damage shock. They're injured. But then with survivors, to take your brother out of a life threatening circumstance, they're going to all the questions. Why him, not me? What, are, what could I have done different? So we have to emphasize the tough job that firefighters have. I mean, they'll, they'll never be the same because they pulled a brother, a family member, out from underneath from falling wall. He didn't make it, they did. They're with us tonight. That's what I want Estonians to understand and pray for the survivors because they're injured as well. We will honor Firefighter Garcia, across this city, you will not forget him. But for these officers, they go to work each and every day. We need to thank our lucky stars that we live in Houston, Texas, where we take care of our firefighters. Sometimes people say, why are you so close to the firefighters? Moments like this, you cannot do without 